Welcome back to When Harry Met Board Games. Today we continue the People's Choice Top 100 Board Games of All Time, covering games number 90 through 81. We've surveyed over 3,300 board game designers, reviewers, publishers, content creators, hobbyists, and enthusiasts, and these are the results we came up with. So without any further ado, let's go straight to the list with the number 90. The People's Choice number 90 board game of all time is Cthulhu Death May Die, designed by renowned board game designer Eric M. Lang and Rob Davio of Legacy Fame, the innovator of the Legacy style games. And Cthulhu Death May Die, as the title indicates, is a Cthulhu mythos or Lovecraftian themed game where players are working together cooperatively, combating different elder gods uh, throughout the different scenarios that the game offers. There are expansions to this game and last Lots of Kickstarter exclusive content for those who are interested. Of course, this is a Kaman Games production, so you know that you can count on quality miniatures and lots of nice components. This game here, Cthulhu Death May Die, while it did get a considerable amount of votes last year for the People's Choice, it did not actually rank on the top 100. So it's the first time that it makes the top 100 of the People's Choice. I'd like to give a shout out to the people on the screen right here, right now. These people have all chosen Cthulhu Death May Die as their number one board game of all time. As far as the people People's Choice goes, it's number 90. The People's Choice number 89 board game of all time is Paladins of the West Kingdom, designed by Shem Phillips and S.J. McDonald and published by Garfield Games. Now, Paladins of the West Kingdom was ranked number 74 on last year's list, so it's dropped down a bit. As a matter of fact, it's the only representative of the West Kingdom trilogy on the entire People's Choice Top 100 board games. Architects and Viscounts did get a good amount of votes, but not enough to qualify them for the top 100. So this game is reigning supreme as far as the people goes. Now this game is a worker placement game that takes place in a medieval French setting. It has lots of cool little features like workers that have different types of abilities. The workers in this game are not all created equal. They do different things for the players. Throughout the course of the game, players are building outposts and fortifications. They're commissioning monks and they're encountering different outsiders who threaten their realm. Each player is enlisting a specific paladin and they're gathering workers in order to carry out different actions. I'd like to give a shout out to the people on the screen right here who have chosen Paladins of the West Kingdom as their number one board game of all time. As far as the People's Choice goes, it's number 89. The People's Choice number 88 board game of all time is... The Crew. Now, The Crew last year did not make it to the top 100, although it did get a good amount of votes, just not enough to qualify for the top 100. But this year, it climbed all the way up into the top 100. It made the cut as high as number 88. Now, what is The Crew? The Crew is basically a space theme, science fiction theme, cooperative trick taking game where players take on the role of astronauts going on an uncertain space adventure. Now, this space adventure extends over 50 exciting missions, but the game can only be defeated by meeting common individual tasks for each player. With each mission, the game becomes more difficult and communication is absolutely essential. Now, this game can be paused and resumed later. You can pick up from where you left off last time. I'd like to give a shout out to the people on the screen right here. These people have all chosen the crew as their absolutely favorite board game of all time. As far as the people's choice goes, it's number 88. The People's Choice number 87 board game of all time is Champions of Midgard, designed by Ole Steinus. And this board game here was actually ranked number 79 last year, so it's not dropped down too much. And this is a Norse-themed game. It's like a hybrid of Euro and Ameritrash mechanics all combined into one with a Norse mythology theme. This is a worker placement game where dice represent your workers and they represent your Vikings. Players are taking on the role of leaders of Viking clans who have traveled to an embattled Viking harbor town to help defend it against the threat of trolls, Draugr, and other mythological Norse beasts. Players are striving to be the one who earns the most glory and the favor of the gods. At the end of the game, the player who earned the most glory will win the title of Jarl and be recognized as the champion of Midgard. I'd like to point out the people here on the screen right now who have all chosen champions of Midgard as their favorite game of all time. As far as the People's Choice goes, it's number 87. The People's Choice number 86 board game of all time is... 
Rising Sun, designed by Eric M. Lang and published by Come On Games. A second title within this set of 10 that includes Eric Lang and Come On Games as a pair. Uh, this game here was actually ranked number 89 last year, so it actually climbed up a few spots, which is impressive for a game that's been out for a few years now. Now, this game here takes place in Japan, in particular, Feudal Japan, and each player is taking uh, over the uh, specific Japanese clan. Each clan possesses a unique ability that distinguishes it from all other clans around the table and differs in seasonal income, in starting honor rank, and in their home province. This game features lots of politics, negotiating, opportunities for diplomacy and betrayal. Players are forging and breaking alliances. They're choosing political actions. They're worshiping the different deities. They're customizing their clans. And they're positioning their figures all around Japan. Players are striving to have the most honor as possible because honor grants them lots of benefits and advantages. In particular, whenever there's a tie, the tie will be broken in the favor of a player who has more honor. Throughout the course of the game, you're earning victory points by winning battles, by harvesting the right provinces, and by playing the virtues that have been accumulated throughout the course of the game by your clan. The person with the most victory points at the end of the game is the winner of the game. I'd like to give a shout out to the people right here on the screen who have chosen Rising Sun as their number one board game of all time. As far as the People's Choice goes, it's number 86. The People's Choice number 85 board game of all time is... Harry Potter Hogwarts Battle, the deck building game. Now, obviously, the intellectual property of Harry Potter till this day remains very popular and prevalent in mainstream society. And now you incorporate that into a deck building game. And of course, you're going to combine fans from both uh, niches. You're going to get your Harry Potter fans who might not be interested in board games who would like and enjoy this game. And at the same time, you're going to get your board game fans who might not be interested in Harry Potter, but like board games in particular, deck building games. Now, of course, if you like both the Harry Potter intellectual property and deck building games or board games in general, then this is a must have for your collection. This game is a cooperative game where players are drafting different items, spells, and allies from Hogwarts in order to confront and defeat all the different villains throughout the course of the Harry Potter literature. And you actually, the game is broken down into seven different games, mini games, that you add a little bit more cards and a little bit more rules and nuance to each of the subsequent games. And each of these seven uh, books or these seven games correspond to the seven books and or films. Really cool. Again, if you like Harry Potter and you like deck building games, this is a game you have to look into. I'd like to give a shout out to the people right here on the screen who have all chosen Harry Potter Hogwarts Battle as their number one board game of all time. As far as the People's Choice goes, it's number 85. The People's Choice number 84 board game of all time is... Arc Nova. And Arc Nova is one of only two board games on the People's Choice Top 100 that came out in 2021. Uh, this means that it's very fresh and it's very impressive for it to already make it onto the list and as high as 84 because usually it takes games a few years to build that kind of momentum and gain that kind of attention with a larger audience in order to make it onto this list. Now, Arc Nova is an economic game with an animals or zoo theme. Players are planning and designing a modern, scientifically managed zoo. Their goal is to own the most successful zoological establishment. They're going to build enclosures, they're going to accommodate animals, and they're going to support conservation projects all over the world. Each player has a set of five action cards to manage their gameplay, and the power of an action is determined by the slot the card currently occupies. You have cards that allow you to gain additional cards. You have cards that allow you to build different buildings and structures that will enhance your zoo. You have cards that let you acquire and accommodate different animals. You have association cards that allow your association workers to carry out different tasks. And finally, you have sponsor cards that allow you to raise money for your zoo. I'm actually very curious to see how this game holds up in future years. Again, very impressive how quickly it made it onto the people's choice and how highly it ranks. I'm curious to see where it ranks next year. I'd like to give a shout out to the people on the screen right here who have chosen Arc Nova as their number one board game of all time. As far as the People's Choice goes, it's number 84. The People's Choice number 83 board game of all time is 
Mysterium. And Mysterium is not new to the list at all. It was ranked last year. As a matter of fact, it was as high as number 50 last year. So it's dropped over 30 spots, which is considerable. Now, Mysterium here is a cooperative game with a murder mystery theme. One player takes on the role of the ghost who has a hard time remembering what exactly happened and is trying their best to communicate with the mediums, the other players around the game, through visions which are represented in the game by illustrated cards. Each turn represents an hour and the ghost hands one or more vision cards face up to each medium. From these cards, the evidence if you will, the mediums are trying to determine and deduce which suspect corresponds to the vision card received. Players have seven rounds or seven hours to come to a conclusion or else the ghost dissipates and the mission has been failed. I'd like to point out the people right here who have chosen Mysterium as their number one board game of all time. As far as the People's Choice goes, it's number 83. The People's Choice number 82 board game of all time is... Kanban EV, designed by Vita Lacerda. And Kanban EV did not make it to the People's Choice Top 100 last year, so it is new to the list this year. It got a good amount of votes last year, but again, not enough to make the cut for the Top 100. And this year, it does as high as number 82. Now, in Kanban EV, players are overseeing the manufacturing and production of electrical cars, electrical vehicles. Players are taking on the role of unexperienced employees who are trying to secure and progress their career. They need to manage suppliers and supplies. They need to improve and innovate automobile parts. And they need to get their hands greasy on the assembly line in order to boost the production and impress the factory manager. This is a worker placement game that features an element of both resource and time management. I'd like to point out the people on the screen right here who have chosen Kanban EV as their number one board game of all time. As far as the People's Choice goes, it's number 82. The People's Choice number 81 board game of all time, and the last one for today's list is Sleeping Gods, designed by Ryan Lockett and published by Red Raven Games. And Sleeping Gods was not on the list last year, and as I alluded to earlier, it's the second of the two games on the entire top 100 that were officially published in 2021 at, that made it onto the People's Choice Top 100. So this is a relatively new game that's picked up lots of steam, lots of momentum, enough to make it to the Top 100 as high as number 81. Now, Sleeping Gods is Ryan Lockett's latest cooperative storybook game. In this game, one player takes on the role of Captain Sophie Odessa and the other players her crew. They are lost in a strange world in 1929 on a steamship, the Manticore. Players are working together to survive while exploring exotic islands, meeting new characters, and seeking out the totems of the gods so that they can return home. This is a campaign game where players can stop and pause the game at any point that they would like and all they have to do is mark their progress on the journey log sheet in order to resume the next time they play. The goal of the game is to collectively find 14 totems that are hidden throughout the world. Now, as I mentioned earlier with Ark Nova, I'm very curious to see how this game does in future years, if it's just a level of excitement or if it'll continue to climb and rise uh, throughout the list. I'd like to give a shout out to the people on the screen right here who have all chosen Sleeping Gods as their number one board game of all time. As far as the people's choice goes, it's number 81. And that's it for today's list, folks. Thank you so much for joining us here at When Harry Met Board Games. Please comment down below and tell me what you think about this specific particular set of 10 games. Also, if you're interested, click on the link on the screen right here so you can catch my personal 10 favorite board games of all time. And don't miss us next time, next week, as we continue the People's Choice Top 100 Board Games of All Time, covering games number 80 through 71. That's it for this time. Thank you for joining us here when Harry with Board Games. This is Harry saying take care, everybody. Stay safe, stay healthy, and have fun gaming. Bye-bye.